Thanks, Cap. Tanging or mellow, spicy or mild, barbecue sauce is the icing on the steak or ribs or whatever else it is you happen to throw on the grill. Our next guest is, get this, an inductee into the Barbecue Hall of Fame with tips on building the perfect barbecue sauce. That is quite the accomplishment. Please welcome America's master griller, Stephen Reichlin. Quite the title and accomplishment, my friend. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good well, morning. We it are, smells beautiful. I know. We are, but you need some, you need some summer here. Yes. So, uh, we're talking about barbecue sauces. I've just written a book called Barbecue Sauces, Rubs, and Marinades. Think of barbecue sauce as the lifeblood of barbecuing and grilling. Okay, so okay? what goes into the perfect sauce? So, I'm making you a sauce inspired by Kentucky today. It starts with fried bacon. Why bacon? Because bacon brings the smoke flavor into the sauce even if you don't have a smoker. Okay. Uh, we start by frying the bacon. Next, every How long? Like three minutes? No, three minutes okay. just till it's slightly brown. Uh, every barbecue sauce needs a base. I'm using ketchup. Why ketchup? Because ketchup is pretty good already, right. so it can't be any worse than the ketchup, right? Okay. So we add ketchup. And how great is it when you can boast that you've also made your own sauce? Absolutely. Uh, brown sugar next because you know, the most important ingredient in a barbecue sauce is balance, mm -hmm. all right? So we want to balance the sweet of the brown sugar with the acidity of cider vinegar. Oh, okay. Then you always need a wild card. Uh -oh. And in this case, the wild card is bourbon, <gasps> near and dear to my heart. You know, That's I should have... a lot of bourbon, um, Kentucky style. <laughs> I should have used Canadian whiskey, right? Oh, because yeah. uh, all of this, you know, uh, feel free to improvise here. Does the alcohol evaporate? It does. Okay. Uh, however, we still have some in the bottle if okay, you need a yeah, drink. Same. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, pepper and hot pepper flakes. We'll let this mixture simmer for about five and minutes. I use salt. I use coarse sea salt. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and this is one that's finished if you'd like to try it. Okay. Uh, How hot is this? Uh, it's not very. Uh, it's more about the sweetness and the smoke. Mm, okay. Beautiful. It's very, very well very balanced. And relatively easy to do. It does have a kick, though. Boom, super, there it is. Super easy. Now, <coughs> pardon okay, me. Here two we interesting have. sauces. In South Carolina, in the States, mustard is the base of the sauce. And mustard sauces are what you serve with pulled pork, pork shoulder. So try the mustard sauce. I love sauce. mustard, I have to say. Yep. Now, do you use regular mustard, Dijon mustard? Doesn't I matter. personally like Dijon mustard. I don't like regular mustard. Mm. Okay, so that's oh, nice, yes. right? Smoke, sweet, hot. What sort of meats do you use that on? This is fantastic on pork. On pork. Also on chicken. This now, one? This is really interesting. This is called a monkey gland sauce. Oh, that's not a nice name. I promise like, you. What's in that after I sampled it? No, I promise you, no primates uh, okay. suffered in this preparation. It's a barbecue sauce from South Africa, and that's a, actually it's a chutney vinegar and red wine-based sauce. I was going to say, sauce. it tastes like a chutney. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this, great for steak, great for wild game. I know you have beautiful uh, moose here. Okay. And uh, bison. Bison, venison. These are the building blocks. They are. So, you know, sweeteners, and they range from white sugar to molasses to honey to jam. Uh, you have your souring agents, which include vinegar, lemon juice. Uh, your heating agents, jalapeno, chili, hot pepper flakes. More wild Excuse cards. Excuse me. What do we have here? Okay. Coffee beans more, and anchovies? More wild cards. A coffee makes a great addition to a barbecue sauce. How? In the book. Well, think about the flavors of coffee, right? Malty, earthy, aromatic, yeah. um, just kind of wakes up your palate. Okay. Uh, anchovies, if you want to go in a fishy direction, this yeah. would be for more, I know your, uh, okay. your roots lie deep in southern Italy, yes. so you'd be very at home with a salsa verde with, uh, with uh, anchovy in it. Okay. Coca-Cola, again, sweet, sour. There's a great Coca-Cola barbecue sauce. And if I can just point one other thing out for you. When you make great barbecue, it's all about layering flavors, right? So we might start uh, with a barbecue rub. Okay. We smoke the ribs. Uh, and then after the ribs are smoked, we'd apply the sauce uh, and then sizzle the sauce into the meat. Now, one really important thing, do not put your barbecue sauce on at the beginning of cooking because Why? the sugar in the sauce will burn before the meat is done. And you wind up with the kind of barbecue that I grew up with, okay. uh, where it uh, came out jet black and then you ordered in Chinese carryout. So. <laughs> <laughs> so when do you apply the sauce? It goes on the last five minutes and you just lacquer it onto the ribs. And you don't flip it, you leave it on the oh, top of it only. No, of course you would flip it. Oh, you do? Yeah, you want to turn, you want to lacquer both sides. You're really kind of burning the sauce right into the meat. Okay, so the last five minutes you apply this. Yep. 
boom, flip it, apply it again. You do. And how long do you leave it on there oh, for? Oh, it's the sauce? In maybe five minutes. And then you serve additional sauce on the side. Because you, you always need more sauce. You always need Thank more sauce. Thank you for a very saucy segment. For more information, breakfasttelevision.ca. Kevin wants to know if he could eat the ribs. Could he eat the ribs? Absolutely. Okay, come, come on, on in, over, Kevin. Kev. We will be back with more BT this saucy Friday. Thank for goodness you. we have somebody to do the heavy lifting around here. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, Dig wow. in, my friend. Get him a bib. Oh, that's right. We'll oh, no, it's okay. I can get this washed. <laughs>